Okay, I want kind of wanted to show you uh, this little uh, idea invention of mine. Um, I've had this for oh gosh, since I made it in like probably 2003. I've actually made two. I made another one. I'm not sure where that one's at. It's probably in a backpack somewhere. Um, but I made this little invention, and uh, it worked out pretty nice. This is kind of like the second second edition version, and uh, it, it's for use with my uh, my Trangia stove. So uh, this is how it works. It's three pieces of uh, aluminum, real thin. I mean, they pack very nice in the backpack, and it comes with a, a little piece here. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, how these work is I've got them cut with slots, and if you see, they've got a little notch right here. That's for the little star piece. So them have to go up. So you need one notch up, one notch, one notch down, and then lock them in. And then you go around. Let me move the camera back a little bit. Then you go around and then you take your last piece and lock it into that notch. Okay. So you have you have three pieces. And then you take the last two and you can kind of bend it up a little bit. And lock those in. So it locks into like a triangle. Oops. A nice little triangle. Okay, and then the stove sets in the center. So you put your stove in there, and then the, the cool thing about it is, is I've got this little, little piece here that I made to set in those little notches. It sits in those little notches. And I mean, I can uh, I can cook on there with a frying pan, you know, or just you know, put my my canteen cup on there. So with that nice little brace in the center, it. You know, it gives me a lot more, a lot more work area, a lot more surface area. So I can put a big old frying pan on there if I want, or a, or a pot, or a skillet, or you know, or I can, I can put my canteen cup on there, and and it works really great. So it's just kind of a little idea of mine. Just weighs, you know, probably a couple ounces because it's uh, sheet aluminum, and with that little, that little piece in the center it makes it stable for my canteen cup and that's why I like it and it's 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 a good windshield it keeps the wind from blowing the flame around and it just makes it makes cooking easier it makes it cook faster so that's one little idea of mine that I just I wanted to show you I wanted to get out there it comes apart real easy packs away flat in your backpack with the uh, the cooker Trangia stove it, it's it's not that big it's a nice little nice little invention of mine I like I like it so um, something else I've, I I use my phone a lot for for like topo maps and because my phone is really huge uh, where is my phone uh, my phone's like really huge and it has a lot of memory space so I like to I like to take it on a hike and I can use it for topo maps or or whatnot and it's a Samsung Galaxy Note 2 I mean you can see it compared to a pack of cigarettes it's a huge phone um, but I like to you know I carry survival guides on here and everything and I want to be able to charge it in the wild so I bought one of these solar panels with a built-in battery pack well I comes with a USB port and a charging port and you can charge it up with a computer you can charge it up with your phone charger 
and it works really great but the solar I mean I bought four of them I'm not sure where the <laughs> not sure where the the fourth one is right at the moment it's in a backpack somewhere but they work really great if I charge them all four up with like my phone charger or charge them up with a computer before I leave on a long weekend but to put them out in the sun where I go backpacking the campsite only gets about probably seven hours of good sunlight during the day because it's in a valley and they don't charge up enough in one day for one charger to recharge the phone not even enough for two chargers to recharge the phone so I bought I bought a solar panel this thing's supposed to be able to put out up to two amps it's got three three solar panels and then it's got the uh, double USB port in here uh, in there for two USB ports but it's got the three solar panels I plug, I plug it into my phone last weekend and it's got sand on it plug it into my phone last weekend and it charged my phone great till about 50% and once it got to like 50% it didn't want to charge my phone any higher and didn't make sense to me and I already had these smaller ones out in the sun charging so I thought well as long as that's got a USB I mean I'm gonna plug the USB into my big solar panel and plug the cord into the little solar panel that had this one has a built-in these have built-in batteries these have built-in uh, 1400 milliamp hour batteries built inside the case this doesn't this is just a solar panel so I plug this in to one of these and start charging this and it fully charged it well I know these will charge my phone but for some reason this solar panel won't charge my phone over 50 percent so I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to use this solar panel to charge these and then I'll use these to charge my phone because I can use I can charge probably two or three of these in a day with the solar panel because it charged one three quarters of the way in like two hours so so yeah that's what I'm gonna have to do I'll just have to pack both it's just weird that this would only charge it to uh, like I said about 50 percent so but yeah it's money wasted money invested either way you want to look at it but the cool thing is is I got like this phone or camera camera bag and I put in uh, well, I've got a, a little mini Fresnel lens that's always in the bottom there for fire starting. And that just stays in the bottom of the bag. And then the bags came with like this little divider. And I bought two of the bags. I use one for something else, but uh, come with a little divider. So I put that in the bottom for padding. And then I put the first one face down, next one face up. And then I have another another one of those little pads out of the other bag and I don't use it in that bag so I put that one on top of the face of that chart or panel and then I put the next one face down and then I put the last one face up and then this lid is padded but the cool thing is is even after I put that fourth solar panel in there there's still enough room in there just barely for my phone and my phone's got a rubber backing on it so it won't hurt the other solar panel that's face up so I can put all of them in there zip them up and just throw that in my pack and I've got those four solar panels with batteries and you know I usually leave with them fully charged so you know I've got my phone for topo maps for emergencies I mean if I've got a signal up there so but that's just kind of a little pack I wanted to I wanted to show you. And then, lastly, but I wanted to show you kind of like this. This is this is cool. Something I come across. If I uh, this is like a Kentucky Fried Chicken mashed potato container. But if you look, I don't know if you can see that. Almost looks like jelly in there. I don't know if you can see that that wiggle. But it's not jelly. It's a it's a magnifying glass. And uh, I, I 
container just worked out really nice for putting it in there. It's uh, for basic fire if I need it, and it just something I ran across tonight and remembered how it wobbled in the container and kind of looked like jello. So I just wanted to throw it on the video. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you uh, like and subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed already, um, I'll be certain to put more videos on in the future. And uh, I thank you for watching.